Hello and welcome to Gamey View. Now this week the Nintendo Switch is celebrating its one year anniversary and I just want to go through some of the things that I've enjoyed most about being a Switch owner and also some of the things that I'm looking forward to in the future. Before we begin make sure to comment what you enjoy most about being a Switch owner if you are a Switch owner and what you are looking forward to in the future as well. I'm always interested to find out other people's opinions but let's start with the first thing and probably the best thing the, the games are the second best thing are, but the first thing is the actual switching now Nintendo always seem to have some sort of gimmick when it comes to their consoles the Wii had motion control and the GameCube had a black handle of usefulness but with the switching it's it's not a gimmick it's a very useful feature and it, it can be somewhat hard to understand if you've never used it but having a home port console go portable is the most useful thing that, that ever has been um, you know playing the same big budget or indie games that you've been playing on your tv setup but then take it wherever you have to be is a phenomenal thing now, I remember my first weekend with the Switch, I was playing Zelda, obviously. I'd set everything up on the TV, set it all up, fine-tuned sound and all that kind of stuff. And then I had to go to bed because I had work the next day. But I didn't want to stop playing Zelda as, well, why would you, quite frankly? So I looked over to the console and I decided to pick it up as you're supposed to when switching it. It, it it was an odd feeling to begin with because you don't look at your xbox or playstation and go i, I want to pick you up um and, and so yeah i picked up the switch and just carried on playing in bed and what was remarkable was that there's no syncing there's no it's not streaming there's nothing at all to stop you from just instantly playing the game that you were playing on 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 your TV, on the go. And that's when it clicked, the actual usefulness of the, the system and what it would mean to me. And quite possibly a lot of other people, uh, a lot of people have busy lives, full-time jobs, family, other commitments that do manage to take up a lot of time and detract from you sitting down and dedicating a lot of time to playing games like Skyrim, for example. That's one game I've always wanted to play, but never have had the time and now the switch actually grants me that time and i'm very grateful for that so the switching mechanic is definitely one of the best features about the system and one of my favorite features about the system and i'm finding more and more along with a lot of other people i would imagine that i just want more games for the system uh, every game that gets announced that's not coming to the switch i want it on the switch get it on the switch damn it but of course the other big success and you know, you know the success that all video game consoles need are games and the switch has an abundance of games and it's particular note because it's hard to find the amount of games on that are on the switch on other consoles in the same time frame, especially of the quality as well. We've had multiple award-winning games launch, uh, most notable Zelda, Game of the Year. And I'm not gonna talk for ages about Zelda, I'm just gonna say that it's sold really well, it's won multiple awards, all with good reason, play the game. Also another game to play is Mario Odyssey. I've enjoyed this game so much. I never thought I would love another Mario game as much as I loved Sunshine. But Odyssey is definitely up there, if not equal, if not maybe a little bit better. I'm undecided on that. And with its recent update, the Luigi's Balloon World, it's a silly little thing, but it's... Uh... <laughs> It's just fun and, and, and very Nintendo, and it's just keeping me playing it for longer and longer. Other games on the system as well, Splatoon, ARMS, a, a new IP. You got Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, just fantastic games launching each and every month um, for the system, along with all the indie games as well. Let's not forget Steam World Dig 2, Celeste, Fast RMX, all fantastic games. And now we can play them on the go anywhere. Um, a particular note out, uh, shout outs 
for me are Stardew Valley and Skyrim, two games I've always wanted to get heavily invested in, but never have found the time to. But now I have done with the Switch and I've poured hundreds of hours into playing those games, probably more than I should, but I've enjoyed every second of it. And it's just absolutely fantastic. So with the best games available in the past year on on the system like Zelda, Mario, Splatoon, coupled with the fact that you can take these games anywhere has just made a huge, it's just a huge success for Nintendo. And we can see that in the sales figures as well. So it's just pure fact that people are loving the Switch, loving the games, loving what the Switch can do. And I am one of those people. And that's well, that's kind of why I'm talking right now is because I just want to say I do love the Switch. But of course, what about the future? Well, I'm looking forward to it, quite frankly. I look forward, first and foremost, to all the third-party games that are going to be coming. Um, I really do think that third-party will make a huge push for on the Nintendo Switch this year, starting around about E3 probably, and we'll be seeing a lot more such and such game coming to Xbox, PlayStation and Switch. Um, third parties will jump on board. A lot of them already are on board. Um, and bearing in mind, a lot of them are already on board that just haven't been announced because they're making games and then they'll announce the games and then boom, it will be there. So that really excites me. Also, Nintendo's own games, Pikmin 4, Metroid Prime, Smash Bros and Pokemon, all possibly due by the time the Switch turns two, is just fantastic news to hear. Those games coupled with Zelda and Odyssey and Splatoon are j just unbelievable uh, amount of good playing to be had. And also uh, I look forward to like the online being revamped and done properly, but quite possibly with a Nintendo twist. And virtual console coming as well. I look forward to this. I really want to play retro games on the go. I know I can do already, but on the Switch screen, it will, they'll just run perfectly. And with features like Snap and Video Record, that would be very, very good. And also GameCube games. Give me GameCube games for the virtual console. GameCube is definitely one of my favorite consoles and I want to play Luigi's Mansion on the go. Um, give me that immediately. Um, I, I do believe that we'll, we will see Virtual Console as uh, as it was, but maybe as like a, a main, in place of a game one month, we'll have Virtual Console launch and that'll be a big thing. But anyway, I digress on that one. That's for another time. So, yeah, all this leaves me excited for the future and I do look forward to seeing what the Switch and Nintendo can do and surprise us because we know so much already, Pokemon, Metroid, but we know very little as well. You know, we've got the next year to look forward to, but what about in four years' time? Nintendo have recently said they want to up the system to 10 years, so that's a lot of Switch goodness. So yeah, there we are, just a, a hopefully a short little piece on why I love the Switch. Um, make sure to comment down below what you love as well. Also make sure to subscribe if you've not done already. I do appreciate every subscriber I get. And yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.